Alrighty, folks. Uh, welcome back to another session of our Stone Prophet and the Sands of Harakir. I am your Dungeon Master, Dungeon Mister, joined by all of our wonderful players today. If you guys want to say hello, you absolutely can. Hello. Hey. Hello. And, well, we're going to start the session off the same way we start every session, with a little bit of a talk about what happened last time before we get into what's going to happen this time. So, last time, you guys were faced with a duo of mummies, started to stand your ground. This was a mistake. They hit like a truck and seemed to disallow healing from their rot. During this fight, Doza stood up for his allies and rushed forward to assault these undead creatures. This unfortunately spelled his end as he was killed by the rotting fist of one of these mummies, instantly drying out his body. Backed into a corner, the rest of you barely survived as the mummies fell into piles of dust in their destruction. Afterwards, blame and arguments were had, but it didn't change the fact that Doza was dead. And two of you are under a heavy affliction unable to mend your wounds. Big John slinking Doze over his shoulder, he pressed forward. The only option. You guys found a scroll. Magical music uh, in another room with three more portals to choose from. Uh, you also noted a handful of bottles filled with liquid on a table and a scarab that was holding a large yellow diamond. Taking the bottles and ignoring the scarab because obvious trap. You chose one direction, ended up teleporting near the entrance of this entire labyrinth, uh, and took a breather. Vivian and Elias ended up going and speaking to Bestet, the cat, still wanted their jewelry, and was unable to help at this time. Thinking on it, the gem in the eye near the statue, or nearby, was similar to the one that you had seen in the Scarab previously. So, you guys darted past fire, regrouped, and started making your way back to where you saw the Scarab. Following the portals you did before, noting one of the crystalline statues was missing that you had previously seen. You went to the room, and looked over the Scarab holding the gem, noting magical runes on a pincers of it, figuring this might be what the scroll was for. Elias started playing the music, causing the magical energy of the scarab to dissipate. But as the song completed, a familiar crystalline minotaur statue teleported in quite aggressively. And that's where we're going to pick up. We have rolled initiative, and Duncan... Right next to this beast, you are up first. All right. What are you doing? First of all, your recap, I think, mentioned One Direction, which is too soon, man. Did um, something happen with them? Yeah, one of the one of the lead singers uh, died. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he... Yeah, he, he I couldn't uh, tell you yeah. any of their songs. Anyways... No, I know nothing about it. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> speaking like of almost dying, it, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, what's uh, actually at the um, start of the round? Uh, if other Ken will roll initiative with his new character, no, primo, perfect. <laughs> Uh, you'll see what happens on Initiative 8. You're on Whisper right now. But, Duncan. Uh, I will... Damn, mute yeah. yourself. Sorry. You're what? Good. I'm, I'm, I'm here, right? Yeah, you're here. I will, Duncan, um, what you doing? I, I'm disengaging, and I'm going to uh, head back to the stairs um, behind uh, Big John. All right. Duncan rolling across, seeing this loud thud right behind you, this large crystalline minotaur ending your turn uh i thought i used both my wild shapes but it's... it might have reset since then you did use both of them <laughs> okay i think it did reset because i didn't think i had any guiding bolts yet either um correct and 
the, those are all ch unchecked. Okay, thank you for the reminder. That's all I got. You're good. That'll take us to Vivian. Uh, Vivian will... Um, uh, okay, it appears we are fighting this thing. Um, pull out her longbow. Uh, and shoot at it. Okay. It's like I don't have anything, so let's just go with the longbow attack. Regular shot with the longbow. 17's gonna hit this... This uh, shining beacon of Minotaurus. Hey. Bad. Not bad. It deals eight points of damage. And I, I have been going in and uh, editing, even though it's very painful, editing my arrows. Oh, yeah. You, I, I'm going to say for now you don't have to, because I'll make a thing for it. Don't worry about it. Okay. This place, they're in, infinite in this labyrinth. Because, yeah, it sucks, it's, it sucks to edit equipment on the fly. Uh, all right. that's all. Wait, let me just see where my where I'm situated here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move right like here, right. right in front of the portal. Backing up into a portal. Well, not. I don't want to touch I, it. No, I, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'm, I'm being very careful here. All right. Backing up, noting this shimmering light behind you. That'll take us to Piotr. I still can't see the map. What? So, you should be mm -hmm. able to see it. Maybe I need to refresh, but uh, I don't want to do that right this second. Because Use your imagination. Close, yeah, you're good. Uh, just get Piotr far away while he still has a sling range. He is, uh, so you're going up, backing up, backing up the stairs a little bit. He's in sling range right now. Or you can back up more if you want. Oh, well, I'll sling first and then back up more. All right. A 16 is going to hit. And do I get sneak attack? Uh, you do because a certain Esquire is right next to it. Sneak, sneak, that's checked. Cool. If it'll roll. Will wonders never cease. Roll twenty's been going through some issues well, the last couple of days, folks. So I've clicked it twice. So yeah, go ahead and roll a D four and two D six if you can. Two D six. All right. And a single D. And he gets plus three to that. So dealing a total of nine points of damage as it kind of plinks into this large beast, well, statue. And he backs up into the hallway. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's close enough. You can still get a line of sight on that thing if he needs to. See where it goes. Absolutely. That'll be his turn. That'll take us to Elias. Uh, <clears throat> Elias is... Uh... Making sure that Duncan, you know, help, helping him run by, uh, I'm going to kind of take a step back with him uh, and, and turn around and say, you stay away from my brother. And I kick out and uh, motor light shoots out of my boot as I twinkle star him. Twinkle star. Let's see that twinkle. If it'll let you. Uh, there you go. Is 17 going to hit? Absolutely. I wonder if they reverted. Six points of radiant Six damage. Six points of radiant damage as it kind of illuminates uh, the area around this statue. As it just kind of like, you know, like shining light on a glass, it just kind of starts to sparkle. And and twinkle. Um, that'll be my turn. All right, that's gonna take us to Big John. Who is muted right now? Big John. Sorry. You're good. You're good. 
just a heads up, man. I'm having, I'm so in trouble with my character sheet. It just throws up on me. I can't even scroll on it. That's my mine's been doing that. Yeah, too. yeah. So yeah. roll twenty. That's what I was saying at the beginning. Yeah. You'll have to gotcha. reload the the page, or uh, if you know what you can do, do it the old fashioned way and just roll some dice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, charge right up here and attack with my hammer. All right, pulling out the big old maul. Uh, so it'll be a d20 plus uh -huh. stuff. Plus six. Nineteen. Nineteen's gonna hit. Do a whopping two d six plus four damage. And oh shit, what's the uh, great hammer? It's one d two d two d six. Two d six plus four is what you got. Two d six. For eleven. Eleven. As the creature just barely resists being knocked over on its ass. You see it kind of start to lean one direction. There, I said it again. Uh, I'm going to be very conscious of that. Uh, but it is not toppled. That'll be the end of my turn. Alright. That's going to take us to Esquire. Esquire... Seeing everyone running away, Big John comes and slams into this thing. It's right next to you. What are you doing? Yeah, uh, there's nothing much that Esquire can do. Punch him in the face. Um, what is this thing made of? What does it appear to be made of? Uh, Ice? Crystal. Or glass? Crystal? Here's the gemstone. It's like quartz. One solid piece. Um, okay. I'm gonna do a acid splash on it then. Alright. It needs to roll a six save of 14. You got a big old four. It'll take two points of damage as it just kind of sizzles and melts a, a small portion of its, like, foot. Um, I probably should have ran away. Uh, Quite possibly. Hit into the, <laughs> the portal. <laughs> okay, um, all right, then I'll have my turn. All right. That's going to take us to, as really the only person who would see it immediately would be Piotr. Uh, as new challenger approaches. Uh, Ken, if you want to describe your character and what they see coming into the space well, here. I'll say you start your turn there. This guy who comes in just like looking emaciated, covered head to toe and scars and tattoos and dragging uh, an axe behind him. And he just sees all of you and sees the minotaur. Oh, and then... Yeah. So he's going to immediately just start shouting nonsense. And what yeah. sort of nonsense and different language nonsense just, or just like, yeah, probably, uh, like, <laughs> like celestial. Okay. And just, uh, these God forsaken creatures, they're everywhere. And then, uh, you see him start to like glow and like the scars almost look like they're going to burst open with like radiant light. And if he goes into a rage. All right. Nice. And he's gonna rush forward, and right. like taking all of his might. Like the axe is still on the ground. The axe. Is. Like even though and he's like up. leaping, he's just dragging it. Yeah, and then like one swoop from the ground to the, this thing's head. He's gonna try to attack. All right. Reckless. Sweet, sweet, <laughs> reckless attack. 
getting a crit absolutely <laughs> that is yeah. an entrance right there damn what an entrance i did forget to mention one thing and i'll do it here in a second roll some of that crit damage it doesn't want to roll roll 2d12 and we're gonna add three two to it what's your strength nice my strength is a plus three. All right, so for 21 points of damage, as you guys just see this fucking old dude uh, leap into the room, dragging this axe, and just slam into this creature. Uh, in response, though, I... Oh, also, when I go into a rage, I get 10 HP. <laughs> yes. Of four. Uh, so, let you guys choose. Do you want me to roll, or do you want to take average? Average. I'm hearing average. Uh, yeah, average. Fair enough. Big John and... Egil? Egil? Egil. Uh, Eagle. both you guys take 11 points of piercing damage as shards fly into you. Eagle, you'll well, take that five. Would be, what, five? Yeah. yeah, so you take one. Damn. Anything else for Eagle? Well, that's action, movement, and bonus action. I'll just he'll All look right. around at them and he's like, What are you doing? Fight! Uh, which will take us to this living statue. It's going to swing at advantage with its great axe towards Eagle. It gets a nat 20 right back at you. Oh no! <laughs> Eagle takes 32 points of slashing damage. Divided by two. Uh, divided by two, so 16. <laughs> Seeing this mighty blow that this Minotaur statue swings down onto Eagle, it... He's got, like, a new fresh scar across his chest. Yeah. Uh, but he, he seems to stand up to it pretty well. It's then going to use this opportunity of... It seemed like it hit you pretty easily in its mind with its six intelligence. Uh, it's going to try to gore... Eagle as well. Also at advantage. Getting a 15 to hit. My AC is 14, so it hits. As Eagle will take 10 points of piercing. Half of that for five. five. I'm going to announce the damage that I do. You do the yeah, math yeah. on your own. Uh, but yeah, it does 10 points of piercing damage. Adds it. It, you would imagine it's probably trying to like snarl or something, but no, it can't because it's a statue, which will take us back to Duncan. All right, I think um, Duncan is going to uh, <laughs> look over at this uh, new new fellow and say, "Thanks for the hand. Um, talk later," and I'm gonna. Starry Wisp, uh, this creature. Okay. A 25 going to hit. <clears throat> Damage is also not working for me. That's fair. We will, we know it's a, what, a D8? Yeah. 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 Roll a D8. It does four right. points right there. It rolled. All right. It's just slow on the uptake right now. Uh, it's the button, the button on the, on the screen the damage button didn't do anything, but I press anyway. It doesn't. Gotcha. Matter. I'm gonna run. I'm, I'm gonna run around the corner. Hiding with Pio through over there. Um, I'm gonna stay hidden. Yep. All right. That'll take us to Vivian. Vivian, uh, will. <laughs> I don't have a French <laughs> accent. She will, uh, shoot her bow. Shoot her. Bow. Shoot her long bow. Why do you think I just call it Riv? Right. <laughs> no. Oh. 
Did it? Did mine crap out now? Yeah. Maybe just roll Hell a d20. Yeah. It was working. Too old school. Oh. That is gonna be a miss as it <laughs> clinks off the side. Just kind of surprised to see another living person she, here. She is stunned by the glory, which yeah. is Egil. Uh, and that's it. That's All what right. She does. It's gonna take us to Piotr. I was gonna get a sling attack and do I need to move forward a little bit to get so he doesn't have cover or is that good for me? Nah, he's got it. Uh, he's a very big creature, so... Yeah. This thing ain't hiding nowhere. It's also currently shining some light. Two. Sling attack. Again, it might not want to. Just roll a d20. It, didn't, uh, it did it. Nineteen good hit. Oh. I tried to re reload the page to see if the actual damage button would work, but it doesn't seem to want to. So it did. Oh, it did. It just takes kind of an hour. Yeah. Oh. Uh, for eleven points of damage, as Duncan shoots another starry wisp. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and just in case, he'll move over here behind cover and hide. Okay. Bonus action hide. Uh, give me a stealth check when you can. That'll take us to Elias. I uh, see Doug finally acting smart, running away a little bit. I, I'm going to step a little bit more in the center of the room. Uh, and uh, hey, hey, old man, th thanks for the help, buddy. I, and I'm going to uh, kick the ground I, and uh, start and uh, you almost got me staying a starry wisp. It's a twinkle star. I'm going to twinkle star him. Uh, it's going to go right in between uh, Big John's legs, hopefully. All right. <laughs> Attention. See. Sixteen on the die, it looks like. I will take you. Yeah, nineteen will hit. Right. Pretty sure it's five points of radiant damage. I'll take it. It'll take five points of radiant damage and kind of continues to emit that glow around it. Anything else for Elias? I. Uh... That'll be my turn right here. Well, thanks to Big John. Esquire on deck. <clears throat> Big John's going to lift back his hammer for another blow. But first, he's going to turn his head to uh, Eagle and say, I'm Big John. Nice to meet you. And he's going to come down with an attack. Watch it be pronounced like... Eagle. <laughs> Eagle. Eagle. Needs to start with a Y. Like egret. Right. Uh, plus, your numbers Four. is going to hit it. Yep. Uh, all right, that's 2d6. 6 plus 4. What? For 9? Nine? 9 points of damage. As you strike into it, you take 11 more points of damage. Oof. Okay. This is getting hairy. Uh, but let's see if it is... It stands its ground, not knocked down. That bastards. Anything else for Big John? No, that's going to be his turn. I will take us to Esquire. Uh, Esquire is going to, as an action, disengage. Okay. And run away. Uh, He's running. I don't know. Can you even? Oh, you can. Maybe. So I can get right here. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I can do. Sometimes that's oh. all you can do is run. That's not a bad right. thing. 
All right, uh, that'll end my turn. It's going to take us uh, back to Eagle. Um, he is going to. All right, so some of the, uh, the the most recent wound is going to like spill forth light and wrap around Big John and give him temporary hit points. Okay. Ooh. As a bonus action, so, right? It's just uh, it just happens. It's not even an action. It's because every time I start my rage, or every time my when I'm in rage at the start of my turn, like if they're in with ten feet of me, I can get oh, ten feet. Oh, dope! Yeah. And it doesn't seem to want to work, so he gets two d six. It's like Big John was rolling a bunch of two d sixes there. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I think I actually hit the keyboard with my hand. You get. You're going to get six HP or ten, 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 temporary hit points added on. I'll take it. Thank you, sir. And then, and then, oh, Jared, she's still frozen. You're going to get D20 at advantage. At advantage, yeah. Yeah, a 17 plus six or five Three. is going to hit. Yeah, plus five. And then it's a D12 plus. Yeah. Three. Three. And plus five, plus five because of rage. Because of rage. So, yeah, so. 12 points of damage as it lashes into it. Again, those shards just kind of fly out, hitting you. You take 11. It, it does 11 points of piercing. You take five. Anything else for Egil? That's going to be his turn. Whenever I get my character sheet to work, I'll put that. Yeah, you're good. Minus. Looks like I may have gotten mine working. Uh, but that'll take us to the statue. Oh. Plus six, not plus four. Well, there you go. To damage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We hit. Oh. Oh, I have a, do I have exhaustion? No, you don't. Yeah. Never mind. No. Uh, but the statue is going to swing its big old axe at... I'm gonna roll for it. You guys both did close damage. Uh, Axe is gonna go to Eagle. At advantage, getting a 12 to hit. Dang. As this thing. Eagle, like, spits in its face. <laughs> okay. As you spit in its face, it kind of stumbles as this thing is starting to get some wear on it. It's then gonna try to gore Big John. Big John getting a 23 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. And it rolled minimum damage. You take five points of piercing damage. So take that off the temporary hit points you just got. Yeah, I got lucky there. Uh, the Minotaur kind of stamps around, looking like it's wanting to charge. That's going to take us to Dunk. Around the corner. I think Dunk is going to step back and do another Starry Wisp. All right. I'll also remind you, you can always cast from your familiar if you wanted to. I thought only touch spells. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yes. I know more than you. Okay. Well, <laughs> That's it. I um, quit. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let's see. I got my sheet messed up too. Okay. I had 21's gonna hit it. Alright. Four points of damage. Alright, I'll take it. It's moving around. Back back I go into the corner. Alright. I'll take us to Viv. Uh bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Uh, 11. And 11 is going to be a miss. Hell yeah. I'm just so starry-eyed. Yeah. With all these starry wisps. Yeah, a lot of flashing lights, and it just kind of radiates and, you know, kind of reflects into the crystals as they're breaking and refracting into more lights. Anything else for Viv? Nope, that's all I can do. That will take us to Piotr. Also around the corner. 
he'll step out, like jump out real quick, like he's playing hide and seek and sling a stone. All right, add advantage. Let's see. Bring up his character sheet again. <laughs> You can always just roll two d twenty. This kind of makes yeah. me this this situation kind of makes me think about the the old days of mm -hmm. a pencil and paper. Yeah, and how much I like that. Uh, but it's kind of hard when you're at a computer too. Yeah, roll, uh, I like pen and paper too. Uh, All right, so I don't know what his modifiers it are. Hits. It's AC is fifteen. 2d6 and 1d4 plus 3 so for 12 points of damage as it kind of clinks off of the top of its head as you start to see cracks start forming all throughout its body you must uh, you must aim for its eye that's his thing and then he's going to do it back and hide again alright taking us to Elias and I'll just give you 1d20 for that sneak gotcha. he did sneak very well he did not, but eh, it's not horrible. Uh, Lias will hop up on the table uh, and uh, do a star whisk this time over Big John's head, uh, aiming at the eye. Thanks, Piotr. All right, aiming that starry whisk towards his eye. Let's see this fantastic starry wisp. That's a 10 on the die, so I don't think that hits. I think that's going to be a 13. Where you get your... Oh, I see. Yep. That is going to be a 13. That's going to miss. Uh, eyes real small target, Piotr. Uh, I'm going I'm to stomp on the... Uh, I'm going to stomp on the, the scarab. And uh, Jen is going to flip up in the air. I'm going to catch it in my, my satchel. All Piotr right. says, get good, scrub. <laughs> get a good, scrub. As you flip that diamond up, catching it into your pocket it's heavy this gem weighs 50 pounds oh shit okay so i can't do that <laughs> as I as it that flips it it seems like it flips like a normal gem but as it flips into your pouch it just kind of drops you down to the ground yeah but essentially I, what I, it I, does is it just automatically encumbers whoever's holding it uh, oh wow! Uh, yeah, so I, I fall flat on the table. And I, I use half my movement to stand back up. Uh, that'll be my turn. All right, that's gonna take us to Big John. All right, first thing Big John's gonna do is a second wind. All right, give yourself a little breather. You get four plus four. Uh, yep. You get eight hit points back. Stop clicking on it multiple times. Oh, that's, so why, that's, why, that's why it takes so long to load. So when you actually, when you click the charge, the check mark, it will actually... It will, yeah. Okay, so I, see, I hit the 1d10 and that. I got gotcha. you. So... You get eight hit points. Nice. As a bonus. And you have your regular action still. And uh, Big John's going to take a swing. What is Maul? All right. Big old Maul swing. Right next to Carousel. Twenty-two gonna hit it. This thing is it's even though it's cracking, its feet are planted firm. Gotcha. Damn it ain't working there. Nine, right? Why are you adding five to it? it should be just plus four. Oh, wait. Plus four, then seven. So it'll be seven points of damage. Yeah. Uh, you take 11 points of slash piercing damage as shards pierce into you. Okay. And I'm actually going to use my action surge. Okay. And I'm going to disengage. Okay. 
And Big I'm John looks rough. Yeah. Move back. Meh. I think we're out here. Don't forget you had that temp HP. It's already gone. I know, I got... Well, I have, I have one temp HP left. Well, the temp HP goes first. Oh, oh okay. So then I have... 11 hit points. Okay. Temp, temp HP okay. always goes first. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. I was just doing it in my head, weird way. You're good, you're good, I got you. Uh, uh, as you slam into it and roll backwards, that'll take us to Esquire. I'm just gonna do a Firebolt. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure what my pluses are, but... That's, that's gonna be a miss. <laughs> It's gotta be like plus five, right? So. Yeah, a twelve is gonna be a miss. Okay. Um, we'll go. Uh, we'll go right here. Is everyone? Just... Um. Yeah. And that'll end my turn. Taking us back to Eagle. All right, so Eagle, you're going to see, like, well, Elias, you see, like, this super faded tree tattoo on his back start to glow, and a branch, you know, spectral branch reaches out and kind of taps him and gives him 2d6 HP, temp HP. All right. Elias, you have eight temporary hit points. Oh. So we'll that save you. Touch me. If you flee now, he will kill us all. And uh, then uh, he's going to attack recklessly. Okay. Actually, wait. First, he's going to, you know, take his hands as a bonus action and touch himself. He's going to get uh, 2d4 Actual hit points. All right. Get four hit points. And then he's going to attack. Okay. Uh, this is the yes, you will hit with your big old axe. D twelve plus plus five for fourteen points of damage, as it just like cuts into it, nearly cutting it in two, but somehow it just barely stays together. Eagle, you will take eleven points of piercing damage as shards fly out from the cut you just made. So I'm down one hit point because of that. Just gotta remember when I can get my character sheet back up. Right. And that'll be his turn. That will take us to the the statue. Uh, it's going to advantage attack with its own great axe, getting an 18 to hit. That hits. Dealing 19 points of slashing damage. Reduced to nine. And then it's going to try to gore into you. Also at advantage, getting a 17 to hit. For a total of nine as well for four. So you'll take 13 total from all of the attacks. Now this thing just tries to charge into the room, just kind of recklessly going around, spinning, and Crystal is just kind of falling off of it, clanking onto the ground. It's going to take us to Dunk. Alright, I'll never believe what Dunk is going to do. Um, he is going to step out. Watch this video to find out. <laughs> <laughs> After I talk he's about gonna, it for 20 minutes first. He's going to shoot a starry wisp. What? No way. Bet you, bet you didn't see that coming. Neither did the Minotaur. 17 hits. For four points of damage. As this thing kind of looking to just go reckless and maybe lifting up its axe towards your brother. As it does, you just aim into the center of it and this light starts to crack into each piece as it shatters around. I need Elias and Eagle to give me dexterity saves. Do I have an advantage because Danger Sense? I killed it? Yeah. Oh. yeah. And yes, you do have advantage. 
Future sense is so good. Uh, Elias, you take 11 points of piercing damage. Eagle, uh, with your improved dexterity, heightened senses, uh, you take uh, two. Uh, your total reduction. You take half of that and then half of that yeah. because of resistance. Yep. As this thing crumples to the ground, shards of crystalline glass everywhere. And we'll hop out of combat. Alright. Oh, Don't. Don't, you still alive? Yeah. I, I, I killed it. I think that means my, my curse is broken, right? Oh, no. You got him right in the eye. All right. Big John pulls like a big chunk of quartz like out of his chest. <laughs> like sitting, he's like, "I'm definitely gonna need a rest." John, you're right. Oh, really? I, I turned to uh, old guy. Uh, th th thank you. All right. How how you, how do you find us? You're welcome. Well, not to uh, disturb you, but I have been following you since you left the uh, the judge's tent. That is seem quite suspicious. Be, well, you seem to be the only ones here that want to leave here, or have a plan of any kind to leave here. That is what the I'll spy finish. would say. Well, I mean, shit, the only plan we got is to go and kill or negotiate with uh, Lord Octopot. I'm much like I've heard of you. I'm not from here either. That's and a... I wish to leave. Where are you from? Uh, this little farm that I've been on many years. <laughs> farm? Really? Oh. Yeah, and uh, a big fucking sandstorm came and I am famished. Uh, I I do I have uh, it's it's the least we could do is uh, provide you with some food. Yeah, um, much appreciated. Be the man. Be the man. Uh, uh, I haven't eaten in some time. Uh, here. Uh, have two, uh, two rush, two, two rations. Don't, don't you got any like, twinkle berries? And he's just gonna immediately just dig in and like hands, just like tearing it apart and just gorging himself. Probably oh. eat both rations if he can. Yeah, I got. I, I, like I you got know that, that that feeling. Like I don't know when I'm gonna eat again, mm -hmm. so I need to eat all of this now. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> uh, and it's still it... the rations that you guys brought with you, so it's it's probably like some. Some stuff that you haven't had in a long time, Ego. It is the still wow. part of the rations that mm -hmm. I brought. Yeah, I got no, I got no twinkle berries, alas. Um, it's uh, convenient that you showed up when you did. Uh, thank well, you. I mean, it's been. I don't even know how long it's been since I've been here. Time moves differently, it feels, or maybe just. So many weird shit has happened that I lost track. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to find out where you were going. I heard, you know, music in the distance, and then I rushed to get to this, uh, where y'all were. Found this open obelisk and went inside, and then immediately got lost. That music that you heard, would you say that it was good music? Like, like if you were um, to... I'm not exactly a connoisseur. Yeah, it was pleasing. Sure. Uh, sure. sure. You, yeah. you, enjoy, you enjoyed it? Elias, that's enough. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, it was better than the, the judge's music, that's for sure, because that was just on, like, a continuous loop. I have to say, aside from the whole uh, shattering... And pieces of quartz getting embedded in our skin. Felt good to fight next to a guy like you. Yeah, yeah it felt it's really been, good. It's well, been... I mean, I'm not exactly 
you know, a fighter myself. I just, uh, you gotta do what you do to survive. You hit fucking hard, man. Oh, gotta... If you're not it's... a fighter, then I'm not that. Oh, Big John, don't say that. <laughs> I've seen... You're definitely fat. <laughs> and I've definitely seen uh, men of your stature, and it's not all fat, it's, it's strength. Uh, you know, I'm pretty solid. But, uh, I'm not gonna lie, there's a buttery cupcake layer over it. You know? Oh, do, you, do, the... do, you, do you have cupcakes? No. Uh, no, a... there's a euphemism. Oh. Expression. Yeah. Expression. Well, um, we, we would have been dead if you hadn't showed up, though. In fact, we, uh, a few of us. Well, well, after getting lost in this place, I assumed that I would die here, so is yeah, have, have you know you... advantage advantageous for both of us or all of us i guess we just had a friend who um perished unfortunately as you can see the body of doza still is, slumped uh, over oh, i'm sorry for your loss is that uh are you gonna eat that cat no he is not for uh, eating oh he was our not, friend not, oh he's not a wild animal oh okay. he's, he's, a, he's a cat person Oh. Sit a backsy. Oh, Speak okay. about him properly. Oh, I apologize. I just assumed he was an animal. No, he's cat man. We are okay. all animals. Piotr he was a person. Be good. He kind of looks like that and then kind of looks like y'all. Like, hmm. He was a little, hung a little, hung little hungry in the face. Like, as he looked at you, you say you're all animals. <laughs> he was I heard that he gave you. I hope it gave you some passions. Well, I, I I hate to rush us, but if if I go to sleep tonight, I'm gonna die. So, um, ah, uh, uh, we will uh, just yes. keep you awake. All right. Um, I don't think that's how that works. I think it's um just twenty four hours. I know how curses work. I was just uh, joking. Uh, keep things light, you know. Um, uh, well. Uh, I uh, say, old man, uh, my, my, my name's Lias, by the way. That, again, thank you for the help. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, you you said can, you, were... uh, you can call me Eagle, or e I think in your, your tongue, uh, Terror. Oh, uh, I think I'll go with Eagle. Pleasure to meet you. Like the bird? Uh, no, I believe it's... Did you say Terror? Yes. Like... Uh, uh, like a scary? Yes. Hmm. My, I mean, my, uh, my father wanted different from me, but, you know, none uh, of us, you know, live up to our parents' expectations, I imagine. Can I do a check do, to see if he's human? Uh, he human? Can you just give me an insight check? Does he look human? I guess yeah, he looks human. He's got a little bit of a blue glow to his eyes. Uh, I mean, that there's something about him. Like, give, give me a nature check or an insight? Yeah. Oh, I, I think it did. Oh, well, you rolled a nat one. You're not sure. Oh, He's your savior. That's a, that is a human. For <laughs> sure. There's, there's something about him you just can't put your finger on. What is it? I don't know. Maybe he's just really cool. Uh, what, are, what language is that? Uh, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, celestial. Celestial? Are you perhaps celestial yourself? Yeah. On my father's side. Oh. Oh, well, I've never met a celestial. Uh, wow. Do you have Well, they're not all have... they're cracked up to be. <laughs> do, you, do you happen to have any convenient way to remove curses by any chance i do not all right Theodore kind of oh, put his hand on, his, on duncan's shoulder there is no convenient way to remove curses i'm sorry i mean thank you if you have a specific area that's cursed perhaps you know we could chop it off save you the rest of you I don't think that's gonna work for me. Him and the dwarf were touched by a mummy. Yeah. 
and uh, yes. they may die. Yes, we uh, have limited amount of time here. How's that gym, Elias? Heavy. It's fine. As you, you see, what? he's like buckling his knees. Can I make a performance check to make it look like I'm not buckling my knees? I'll say athletics. Just, it'd be an athletics. Overruled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it. He's having a hard time. That looks heavy, last. You, you want some help? Uh, it would be wouldn't be much for me to carry it. Man, nigger, by by all means. Can I flick it to him? Does it behave like a coin like that, or is it like real no, heavy in it's my hands? It's real heavy in your hands. Big John mm. will come and put his hand out. I'll take it. Walk over to the edge of the table, and hand it to you. Eagle, when you were wandering around here, did you did you happen to see any spots that looked like it might be a safe spot to? It weighs Big John split? down. Uh. Oh. No, I, I don't off. think there's any space of uh, safe in here. I've been constantly on the move, going through any of these portals that I can find, just trying to leave. Right. It's a it's a labyrinth. Right. Yeah, yeah, when you say it weighs me down, do you mean I'm encumbered now? Yeah, or... it, it, yeah. it's it's a it's, gem it's, of yeah. encumbrance. It literally, that is what it does. It, is, it, no. it weighs whoever's holding it down. Yeah, but this it, thing's it, pretty ugly. Oh, but it, it does look like the gym that go, uh, belongs with uh, the other one. The it statue. does. Okay. What um, if I picked up Big John and carried him? Uh, I believe. <laughs> why couldn't we just use the, the magic hand? Uh, from uh, es Esquire. My hand yeah, only carries up to five pounds. Yes, but uh, I mean, I flipped it up in the air pretty easy. It just it wasn't until I grabbed it that is it, it got really least, heavy. Is it is it like ten pounds, Stephen? When it's um, you're unsure. You haven't I, I, felt it to weigh it. I, yeah, I, I but it's 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 Big John would tell you it weighs like three hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Elias I'll will tell you it weighs like at least fifty or a hundred. I try Guys, to, we're just, I'll we're just, I'll try to take it with a mage hand. We're just going to the other room. I mean, well, sure, you're going through the other room. Uh, because mage, Ma hand, mage hand works. It. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that's, uh, it's probably. I don't cursed. know. I don't know why you all are struggling. This this mage hand. It only, it can lift about five to ten pounds. Well, that's a heavy five to ten pounds. Well, you know, magics. Yes, they sure. are. They, they they go outside of uh, the realm of possibility. There I was like brush a, off. There was a wizard when I was a child that uh, had this disc that could carry lots of things. Yeah, yes, I I have this magic too. Oh. I was going to suggest if you had that, that, that might work. But uh, your hand seems to be very powerful as well. Yes. These hands seem a lot. E Eagle, so... have you been in this room before? Probably not. Maybe, maybe not. I, I can't, blur. you know, I'm not, I, I'm not very good at uh, maps. <sighs> Eagle, yes. does, does this mean you will be traveling with us? Even if you will have me, I wish you, you seem to want to leave. I want to leave. I see no reason not to trust. Help. Oh, I'm... don't go that far. I, I, I am... mean, you can trust me as far as, you know, Big John can throw me. It's quite far, <laughs> I would imagine, because you look uh, quite emaciated. Yeah, uh, uh, we should get some more food. Uh... Are you do y'all want to take a rest? I'm not feeling too good myself. Do you need uh, food? Does he need food, like, actually? Like, meta? Ego? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He, so basically, he looks he's like he has, here... he's, he's lean. He has not eaten a full meal. 
Yeah, he's been here months. for probably months. And, I'm gonna uh, give him my last two rations. He'll eat them like, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a starving man. He's, 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 he's got that like bulge in his stomach from where you know you haven't eaten in a while, and it's like it's just not digested, so it's it's there. Yeah. Right, well, if you haven't eaten for a while, you're gonna make yourself oh. sick. Um, you should really be going slow. God. It's too late to talk. Food, 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 food goes quickly in this place. Yeah, it's gonna go quickly through you. Trust me. Um. All right. Eagle well. goes to the corner and shits. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a poop corner. You gotta designate it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you don't make well... a hole. We don't just. Oh, not on the... He doesn't actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Elias no. healing there? I, I reach over to Big John. Big John! Heal him for 28 hit points. Oh, no. okay. Thank you. No. Uh, and these cure wounds are huge now. Yeah. Are you Are you sure you're alright? Does this, this help? Oh, yeah. Do you think you keep on going? I could keep more? going for sure. It felt so good my voice changed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess the question is, do we take this thing to Bestet right away, or do we do a little bit more exploring? Um, Bestet. Oh, uh, yes, so we are we are not sure how to get out of here either, so uh, we decided we we are trusting a cat, uh, a different not cat. The, okay, but not the, de not the dead cat, all right. No, no, cool. a, a, this is a different cat that was al already here. Uh, it wants two eyeballs, uh, gems to go into a statue. Okay. Uh, which I was going to say we could give it. We can give him the cat's eyeballs if you know you're cool with that. If he needs more uh, eyes. No, no, definitely not. It's it's also coincidentally the the statue that we came down here from. So perhaps we will leave. I I'd prefer to leave right now. To be honest. Uh, yes, this is the way back. Well, we've already explored that way. I mean, sort of. We are bringing the gems to Bastet. We gotta remember, if we go that way, we're getting hit with fire on the way back. We will figure something out. Alright, let's go, guys. Vivian will jump through. All yeah, right. we all go through the portal. Yeah. All right. I'm about to leave work early, which is great. So I'm going to be in the car. So just move my character with everybody else, please. I got you. Uh, if, we get into a, if we get into a fight, I'll have to like just have somebody roll for me or I might be able to do... Uh, that's fine. Depending on when it happens. I got you. Uh, but yeah, you guys all step through the portal. Coming out yep. the other side. And coming into the room with two portals, uh, close. you know it's close to the entrance. Wait, where's the fire exactly? Oh, it's not here. In it's that hallway like... going up to the stead. Going yes. Up the stead up here. Which, oh, you know which actually, portal we, we, goes we to can... which... Yeah, yeah, if we take the bottom one here, we ju we'll go directly to the stead. Dude, well, we don't I... even know what uh, yeah. the northern portal goes to, do we? I'm gonna yeah. jump in. <laughs> Maybe it just just disappears. I thought we didn't want to go to Bistet. I thought we wanted to go to the. Too late. Too late. I... Uh, uh. Magic man, you got the you got the gem. Uh. Is there a way past the fire without actually being burned? I might be able to jump it. I think. You guys all take the That's portal following Vivian? Uh, yeah, I guess why, so. Why don't I just go by the entrance? Why don't I, I just go I, wait I, by I the entrance? I do not, and I, and I hold Duncan, let everybody else go first. I, I, I prevent Duncan from going through the portal. Why don't I just go wait by the entrance? That, that's well, what we're going to do. Push the, push the rock through first. Uh, Piotr will go with the safety and go wait by the entrance. As 
You guys head to the entrance. Big John, where are you going? I'm jumping in the portal. Uh, what about Egil? Oh, he's driving. He is driving. I, I would probably have gone, when, as soon as the video game left, I probably would have gone after her. Okay. Do I still see that statue down there? You do. All right, that sucks. Uh, but the rest of you come to this room with a fountain. At one end is a statue of a larger cat. Uh, looks like pushback wings into its backside. With a single yellow eye, or gem eye, on the other side, you would see a step. This uh, black furred cat with a gaudy but exquisite necklace on. Unsurprised look over the face of Bestet as they start cleaning themselves. So, have you brought it? Uh, oui, absolutely. Wonderful. Um, <clears throat> uh, Esquire, this is Bastet. Bastet, this is Esquire. The pleasure is all yours. And the pleasure is yours. Oh. I think we have a difference of opinion about pleasure. Damn. Uh, uh, looking at this creature... Mm -hmm. Does he have to do the check? Um, <clears throat> not unless it wants it to. Ah. Do I know what kind of creature this is? It's a cat. Yeah, it's... but like I see the wings. Is it of... The oh, demonic the, the, the cat doesn't have wings. The statue does. Oh. Uh. And that statue is still missing an eye. The statue's missing an eye. Well, uh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I'll waddle beside uh, Eagle. Uh, and I'll lead the mage hand into the eye. As you start to do that, the stat no. No, you will not be doing that. Put it in the fountain. Oh. What? What? I don't. Is, I don't understand. I thought your reason? friend. I thought the eye was for your friend over here. No, I just wanted to keep it for my friend. Now, Man. throw it in the fountain, and perhaps I can help you. Uh. Give me uh, a moment. No. <laughs> it's not going to let me go. <laughs> I need you to just toss it in. And then um, I can help you with your troubles. I'm going to very obviously point, I guess, because I'm not being discreet, point in this direction and send a message to... <laughs> um, Duncan? He does, does the cat, cat, does the cat stop me? Doesn't stop you from sending a message, no. Doesn't stop okay, you from uh, walking, just said no. Do I have to say the message out loud? I mean, it's a message, it's like, like you just, it's obvious you're doing something. No, no, but I can say it in my head, right? You whisper it, but it's inaudible to others except for your recipient. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mutter under my breath. Uh, hey, Duncan, we need that uh, helmet of mind reading. <laughs> <laughs> you have to attune to it. Oh, what are you doing there? You oh, do want um, my help, don't you? I don't see anyone else who will help you here. Although it seems you have acquired a new friend. I hope they are helpful to you. To me, Does Duncan reply to me? Yeah, I said you have to attune to it. He said oh. it takes time. 
Mm. I, haven't, I haven't had a chance. We haven't rested since we've been in here. Oh. Okay. Now, <clears throat> be good helpers and just toss it in. Uh, uh. I suppose toss it in, guys. But... Would, would I? Would Sounds I? Sounds kind of fishy to me. He's not. You're not there. You're not there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would, can hear. I can hear down the hallway. You can hear down the hallway, sixty feet, fifty feet away. Would um, I got big old ears? Would, would Duncan? <laughs> would Duncan take from that message that something fishy was going on? I'm just a little guy. You, you would take ears. whatever you want to make from it. Like, that's, I'm not telling you what to think. I'm, I'm gonna tell Elias. This is D and D. Elias, I think they're trying to screw him. Well, that sounds like it. I think Biscuit's trying to screw him over. <laughs> Biscuit. Um, the stat. Whatever, man. Um, listen. Um, I think I think they need your help. Can't I can't get over there. You can you can go through the portal. Just get uh, back the way you came. Okay. Hold on. Where's my shit? Meanwhile, here? I'll stay with the. I do want Esquire to give me a wisdom saving throw. Stay with Piotr. Oh. Um, wait. Do I know something's happening right now? No. I want you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Um, it says my sheet, but I don't know what. Oh, it's my sheet opened. I that I did send a message in the thing is like I I was while we were talking, I was opening up sheets and was noticing that it, it all opened up real quick. Yeah. Uh, I have to close mine, refresh. All right, but you you better stay here, Dunk. Yeah, stay I'm gonna stay, stay out of danger. I'm gonna stay with you. Said wisdom. Way. Yes, please. I start to make my way to the portal. Make my way okay. However long that takes me. Uh, it takes you uh, about a minute. Piotr's with you guys. A nine! As the diamond clatters to the ground as you lose concentration, you can't do anything but walk over to Bastet and start, per start petting them as a loud purr echoes throughout the chamber in here. I'm gonna pick it up, the the gem. And I know it's really heavy, it but it's really heavy. I'm gonna fall prone on top of it. <laughs> As you just tackle it. Oh, yes, that feels good. Um, what were you saying? Oh, you're getting the gem for me. Thank you. Oh uh, no, I f I fell. I I fell. <laughs> I'm, I'm silly. I'm such a silly elf. I'm, I felt clumsy. Oh, I see. Yes. So, as I start scratching underneath her, like her chin, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And she just, <laughs> or he just gives into it, and is still talking. Ah, uh, yes. Just, just pop it in, and he will have all the help. Yes. I think Follow. we should do as she says. As you are charmed by Bastet right now. Uh, I will... I'm not moving. Ca I'll cast Mage Hand and uh, try to grab the gem. I'm on it. The gem is not strong enough to Give take it Give me away. an Athletics <laughs> versus... It'll be a sleight of hand at disadvantage. Or... And then me and athletics. And you athletics. <laughs> or acrobatics, your call. Uh, but me... a sleight of hand from at disadvantage uh, from, from Esquire. Yeah, we'll just do two D20s. Uh take the lower of the two. So a six, like plus one. My thing isn't opening up. So a nat twenty. Nat 20. Oh. Uh, I can't you even tell there's a gem. Well, he, he, the gem's <laughs> there, it's obvious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you just covering up, your hand can't get to it. Why are you resisting? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm. I, I don't know. Uh, I fell. to start petting her. Okay. Big As... John's gonna lean over to Vivian and say, Do you really think this is gonna work? As Elias pops in. Oh. Oh, this Elias. is the one that I've been talking to the most. Yes, if you'll just put the gem in the water. Uh, why, why are we putting it in the water? Doesn't That's it belong where uh, I want it. 
Well, but your your statue's missing an eye. That's not my statue. That's my friend. No. Well, your yeah, your friend's missing an eye. I'm, I'm sure your uh, friend would. They won't I'm sure. miss it. Oh, see that. That's Are you doing this I favor for a... the statue or for me? You want my help or a statue's help? Really? This is juvenile, and I won't play nicely if you don't. I can now, see I... several of you are so hurt. You don't want to upset Bestet, do you? No, I like this. I, I don't ideally, like the sound of that at all. I, ideally, no, we don't want to upset you. I don't I, either. So, it just really seems like this gem, you know, belongs in that statue, and I'm just a little confused. Oh, why? Why we got to put it in the water? I wouldn't worry your pretty head about it. I mean, if he's gonna help us, what difference does it really make, guys? Exactly. Well, what, what if it purifies this water? Oh, you think it'll do that? Uh, won't it? Is that what you think? It is. Oh. Oh, sweet, sweet summer child. Do you even remember my name? Yes, I remember a great many things. I'm not actually doing it. I don't know why I clicked it. W what is it? <laughs> it is unimportant. It is what no. it is. If you tell me what my name is, I will. I will get off this gem right now. Did you even? Did you actually tell us that your name? I did. Yeah, they'd remember it. They would? Yeah. They're not um, dumb. Well, no, I thought maybe it was just so uncaring that it wouldn't it wouldn't bother to remember. It happened like four hours ago. You don't see people down here. But can he pronounce it correctly? They probably would. Here, how, how about this? Vivian. How about this? Oh, shit. Now, now, how about this? I'll pull. I get up. <laughs> uh, I still have that necklace from from that I took from the mummy, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll pull pull that necklace out. How, how about this? We put the gem, in, in, the eye, in the eye hole, and I'll give you this cool, real, real, real beautiful necklace. It's it's. I would real love old and that necklace, but no. Do we even know if putting it in the eye hole is going to do anything except sit in the eye hole? It, I have a feeling that it's going to free the friend. Oh. Well, you all just... have a certain sort of ideas oh, uh, in Mr. your head. Mr. Bissette? Yeah, it's just Bissette. Do you have any... Do you have any food? I keep telling your friends here that you have just made that... I will help them if they just simply oh. put the gem in the water. What, what kind of help are you offering? You know, I don't know what you can do. Oh, that was not I, I, quite discussed. I know a couple of you are under some sort of curse. I think they might uh, have their minds put at ease if you uh, were more specific about the help you were offering. Sort of a uh, a trade, you know, uh, like say I gave you a chicken, you would give me some money or like maybe some wheat if you had some wheat. Why would Do you I have want any wheat? a you chicken? Have any... Well, you know, it's good for food. You know, if you if you keep them alive, you get lots of eggs. Every day you can have some eggs just about. No, but I do know where they keep the ovens here. Oh, um... I, I, th I think I think what my my friend here is saying is that. We, we don't know what we're going to be getting from you. Just like we don't know what's going to happen if we put this jam in the eye hole. But if you, if you just were straight with us and told us if you could help my brother and help this guy, uh, point to Esquire, uh, 
Oh, 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 oh. This, oh, oh, oh. this one is helping himself. <laughs> We'd be much more inclined to just trust you. But I trust you're, you're, her completely. You, but you're not, you're not really laying the groundwork here. So, ground trust. Work. Trust uh, those two that, ways. Uh, does that dwarf normally uh, act that way? That seems a bit odd to me. No, he's definitely charmed. Oh no. Some people just can't help themselves around me, and I don't blame them. People with poor willpower, yes. Uh, that, that describes Esquire. You always want to get what you deserve, and I don't. Why? Why would anyone want anything less? So you're saying, if we put this in the water, we will only get what we deserve? I said you'd get my help, and you would deserve it if you did it. Is there any reason why you cannot uh, touch the gem? No thumbs. I'm all. <laughs> Beans. How, how, how about that? Here's let's let's do a little compromise here, just a small compromise. How about? I mean, I that would give me pause. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would. How, how about we just take the jam and put it in the water, just right next to the next, right next to your friend? You know, that way it's near him. How's that? Does that, that sound good? As long as it goes in the pool, I don't mind. All right, all right. Um, here, I do try like it. I, I, here, I'll, I'll put I'll put it in. I'll reach down and I'll, I'll grab the gem. Give me a, oh. give me a deception check, Elias. Deception? You... What do you? Why, why, why do I gotta deceive? Because I know you're lying. He knows you. Because I know you. He knows you. Come Are on. Are you deceiving right now? <laughs> that was fucking almost a twenty. Twenty and then rolled to a fucking two. Oh. As you start to go toward it, Stet lets out a sigh. If you do anything else, I will kill your friend. Will, will you really? Yeah. I don't can want I, to, but you would force my claws. Can I in, inside check him? See if he's bluffing? If he's bluffing that like he has the power to do so? Uh, give me an insight will check. You it's okay, I can spare the dying. <laughs> How can you spare the dead, though? Oh. It would seem you've already lost one. One second. Such a beautiful... Oh, well... He was a bit mangy. He didn't clean himself nearly as much as you do. Oh, thir 13. I've had practice. Uh, with a 13. Hard to read, Bastet. They are a hard read. They're a cat. Seems like we're going in circles here, guys. Oh, that's what dogs do. I am no dog. I have seen that cats chase their tails. You've seen a cat uh, chase their tail. Yes. What an actually. idiot. Eh, yeah, well... Yeah. I suppose if there was something on it, I could see that. Although no, they do move. Was... I think it was bored. Hmm. Uh, um. Anyways, I... uh. I think we need the help. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kick the. If I. If can I kick it? What happens when I kick it? You, uh, I'm holding it. Oh. It, how can you hold it? He can hold it. Yeah. He can still hold it. It's just heavy as fuck. Oh, I see. So. And you would see claws extend from Bastet's little paws mm -hmm. and just kind of reaching towards Esquire. See, that, that doesn't bother me too much. <laughs> I, I... It's not... Elias... 
I think we know what we have to do here. Can I make my yeah. way towards Beset to pet him? Is that your actual intent? Yeah, I'll just go up there and start petting him. He seems okay. to like it. Absolutely. We'll take all the like, pets. And then, and the, but he's really like, he's also filling his body to see how plump he is. He's a very well fed <laughs> cat. It's like, uh. I got you. Like, it seems like you do have food, as he's like, and your coat is very slick. Mm. Yes, I get all the nutrients I need. I wish I could say the same for you. So do I. Where do you, uh, where do you get your nutrients from, if you don't mind me asking? Elias is just holding a gem, looking between Viv and John. <laughs> Who'd John say? Come on, it's your brother. If this cat can help, we might as well just do what it wants. He's not saying he's going to help. He's saying he might be able to help. I mean... He's, he's not well, saying that's something better. for a reason. I'm going to message Elias so that nobody can hear us. Well, so that best that specifically It still looks like us. you're doing something, so it's not like it's there's something fishy. Oh, I know. I, I'm <laughs> pointing. I'm, I'm, I just go... Elias, and then I point at his face, like directly in between his his eyebrows, um, and then I I I'll whisper. I'm just a weird elf, okay? It, it totally tracks. Um, I'll say, uh, worst uh, worst case scenario, um, we put it in the water. He doesn't help us. We pick it back up, and then we put it in the statue. Last time you touched or drank the water. It burned. He took like a little, very small amount. Yeah, she destroyed. touched it. Was fine. Yeah. He wants it destroyed. I look. I look at Viv. Look over at John. Glance over my shoulder, down the hallway where I know that Duncan is. I look down the gem in my hand, and you can see several other. Coins and gems in the fountain as well. Do they look... Sorry. Do they look... Do the coins look like they are uh, like falling apart? Like they're no, being they're dissolved? there. No, they're clean they and shiny. Okay. Uh, you see jewelry down there. It's it's nice. It's real nice. Okay. Piles of it. Takes a deep breath. All right, better help my brother. Not drop it in the water. Claws are tracked from Bastet. Let's see, that wasn't so hard. As you drop it in the water, you would see a glimmer in the statue's eye. It's crying. As it does cry oh, into the water. No. Wonderful. Uh, so, what sort of help was it you wanted? We need a curse uh, extraction, a removal of a curse. Oh. I can't help with any of that. But I can tell you how to find your way around here. I'm going to reach into the water. I try to grab the gem. <laughs> uh, the water actually goes down like 10 or so feet. You have to go for a Would dive. You... I have to go for a dive? Go for a swim. If I put my foot in the water, does it hurt? Are you putting your foot in the water? Yeah. We're going to roll initiative. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> As Vivian looks like she's Vivian looks like she's about to step into the water. See? Rolling initiative. Oh God! I never trust a cat, unless it's Dosa. He wasn't going to help us. <laughs> As we made, we made the statue cry. Uh, Eagle okay. is getting the Wait, one. Hey, I'm not oh. sure if my initiative's gonna work. I'm trying to use it on the app. 
we'll, but nothing's we'll, populated on the app. While we're doing this, we're, we'll actually, as we're rolling initiative here, uh, we're going to take our little five, ten minute break, but Eagle, you will have the one buff when you return, so nice. we will remember that. And thanks, Patch, and for the one buff. So plus one to Thank everything you. for Eagle when we return. So stick around, folks. We'll be back in five or ten minutes as the group encounters the fury of a cat. So we'll see you guys here in a minute. I've got about Alrighty, folks. Welcome back. And last we left off, retrieving this gem and bringing it back to Bestet. Hoping to, uh, well, get some help. You thought about putting the gem back in the statue, but, well, that's not what Bestet wanted. And Vivian did indeed eventually drop the gem in. Bestet seemed I pleased. It was Elias did it. Oh, Elias did. Uh, did but to kick me. after learning that Bastet can't help with your curse situation, but does know the layout of this place extensively, Vivian started to dip her toes into the water, just kind of stepping over the ledge there. Bastet is not pleased. Esquire pets Bastet for his turn. Just a light petting. Okay. Uh, and that, that's literally all I can that do. That is your action. And so, you, while you are charmed this way, you must move, move toward the cat at a normal speed and try to pet it. Uh, <laughs> yep. I love that. Uh, okay. Can I move my mage hand with a bonus action? You, you dropped the concentration. You dropped concentration when you were charmed by this. Oh, I thought I cast it again to um, try to uh, try to take oh, it from Vivian. He did. You did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can you can keep Mage Hand going. Um, uh, can I try to grab the gem in the water? I would say no because it acts against what Bastet wishes, but what Bastet wants, and they want you to <laughs> pet them. But I'm not dominated. I'm only charmed. So it's. I would say it's your call, but I would say in character, at this moment. Because even what... though I'm charmed, I'm, I'm not. I'm not like. Yeah, you don't hate your friends by any means. You don't want to yeah. go against them. But you also don't know anything's about to happen. Except for that Vivian is about to jump into the pool. Yeah, and that's why I was going to use the Mage Hand to like help her get the... Um, you can use but... Mage Hand. I will say in the pool... It can't pick it up. Can't pick it up. Gotcha. Sweet. But you have a mage right. hand down there. But sure. With, at the end of your turn, though, now. Yes. I will say, give me another wisdom save. Um, if I can do that, we'll see. Or roll a d20. Yeah, we're just gonna have to roll a d20 and add three. Uh, you are no longer charmed. Ah. Oh. As. You don't have to Mage pet Bastet anymore. <laughs> uh, but Bastet is going to claw out towards Esquire, who is petting them. Getting a 16 to hit. Well, uh, yeah. I'm going to use my reaction to uh, Sentinel. Hell yeah. And just whack Will on this cat? Yeah, it's like, oh, I was petting this cat that looks like food now. Because it's super fluffy, and it's like, oh, he's going to attack one of these new guys that's been helping us out? All right. Esquire takes eight he's... points of slashing. Go ahead and, uh, well, I guess you can't. Someone roll a d20 for, for Eagle. 19. 
Uh, and then someone else rolled 2d6. Everyone rolls. Elias rolled first yeah. for four. Uh, plus three. So Waited for seven points of damage. Would I still be in rage of having maintained it? It's been well. Role? It's been well over ten minutes. You guys have had. This, right. You guys were chatting for like twenty or thirty minutes. Okay. Uh, at which point Bastet is going to, after dealing eight points of slashing damage with the claws to Esquire, Bastet is going to bite at Esquire. I warned you. Uh, getting a nat one though. After being whacked with an axe, uh, and then kind of lets out a loud purr, I will then need Eagle to give me a wisdom save. Whenever someone roll d20 for Ego. Now, no now no one wants to roll it. <laughs> Everyone's hyped up for that. that. Oh, Going with that 12. 12. What is Eel's bonus? He gets plus one it's to wisdom. Probably one. And, and plus, plus one, buff. one buff. Plus the one so buff. 14. 14 is the DC. No. Ooh, uh, that thanks, will, Patch. That will end Bastet's turn, taking us to Big John, seeing Esquire just get clawed and nearly bitten as an axe just kind of swiped across the backside of Bastet. Big John's going to say, No! Bad kitty! He's going to run <laughs> up here and he will take a swing with his maul up the step, smashing down. That's his cat. Alright. Uh, Trying yeah. to smash that kitty. I don't want her, but I have to. Then don't. As you really don't want to with the nat one, you kind of just, you don't want to giving the cat enough time to kind of, uh, pounce away. Anything else for Big John? It... Gonna bonus action second wind. Alright. You get for five. five plus four, so you get nine hit points. Nine. That'll take us to Vivian. 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 Uh, she is going to... There's not much room. Nah. But if I go here... How many people can surround this kitty? You're not stepping in the water anymore? Nope. All right. Uh, Because I noticed that Esquire stopped petting the kitty. Uh, Esquire, we need to get the eye in the statue. It was crying. Uh, uh, scimitar. As Bevel 7 is giving Vivian, Vivian, the one buff. Uh, so you have plus one to everything for the next minute. Thanks, Bevel 7. Uh, trying to click. It is not rolling, so I'm gonna just... Classic D20. This. 16 plus 5 plus 1. That will hit. Uh, 1d6 plus 3. Plus 1. Plus 1. As so you three. slash out towards a bestet. That's my silvered scimitar. Alright. It does just as much damage to this cat as any other weapon. <laughs> it's a cat. And then we'll come back with my second. So 7 sure. plus 5 plus 1. Seven plus a thirteen just misses. Okay. As Bastet kind of jumps up or like kind of gets real small as you're slashing out. And that's everything. All right. That'll take us to to Eagle. He's driving still. All right. Yep. Um, I'm getting close, but uh, you're good. I would go and rage. All right, as the similar tattoos like just, light up, just briefly light up, yeah. I'll, and then um, I'll get four temp HP. Okay. And then who's uh, this? Let's this, this start of my turn, not the beginning of the page. All right, so that's it. And then I'm gonna recklessly attack the cat. Okay. Someone roll me two d twenty. 
Uh, Big John rolling a 19 with the first one. Will hit. Plus one. Uh, and then 2d6? That's uh, 1d12. 1d12. One uh, plus one, plus two, plus three. So 1d12 plus six. Rolling a one for damage there, Big no, no, John. No, 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 don't, 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 don't take that. Sorry. <laughs> it's too late. We're taking it. Uh, uh, still has this bonus. What did I say? Sit the math. It would be six five. Plus six. So six. So seven total. Thanks to the one buff, kind of grazing across this kitty. Anything else? I am for going you to else? eat you. That's what he says. He says, "I'm going to eat you." Okay. Duncan, you hear a bunch of noise coming from the room beyond, seeing them all surrounding this kitty. This poor defenseless cat. Oh, shit. Now, I, I was... I was suspicious already. I sent sure. Elias. I was, I was I, you know... I don't have anything to do right now. All right. Well, I, I what I wanted to do on my turn, but you could say maybe I'll do it on my next turn, is, is to send Skillet over. You can absolutely do that. All right. I want Skillet to give me a... Even if he's flying high? Yeah, I was just joking. Uh, just giving you a, a quick... Aha! Uh, <laughs> Skillet. Skillet comes over, flies flies over, and flying around the, the fountain room. That'll take us to Elias. Piotr on deck. So I, I can see that uh, Esquire's got his hand down in the water. Yeah, hands in the water. It, it's trying to grab towards the gem, but can't seem to. Shit. I, if I jump in the water and I grab it, I might not be able to swim. It's only 10 feet deep. It's heavy, though. It's heavy. Can do it. I I'm gonna run around the edge of the uh, the edge of the pool and uh, I'm gonna shoot out a starry wisp, uh, twinkle star. At the step. At, at, at the step. All right. Nat freaking twenty. That'll do it. Crit damage. Do that crit damage. Just do it. Well, four. For, for four points of radiant damage, the Bastet emits a low glow here. And these starry wisps just kind of pound into their cat form. It's all could have been avoided if you would have helped my brother. That's it. I can't help a cursed. Which will take us to Piotr, uh, who can, he can kind of see what's going on. Is Piotr going to do anything? Uh, I mean, that would be up to you. If you think he would actually attack at this point. I think because Duncan's not attacking, he'll just kind of probably chat with Duncan. Hey, what is going on in there? It seems like some sort of scuffle. Should I, should I sneak in, perhaps? No. How about that? How about he hides and tries to get a get an advantage to like look around the corner? Sure, he'll go up to the ledge and kind of peek around the corner, uh, taking the the hide action for the turn. He is talking to Duncan, and Duncan is just standing there like a like a zombie. Oh. Because... What happened? Duncan doesn't hear oh, him no. because Oh no, Duncan he's, sucks. Because uh, he's <laughs> Duncan is Duncan is looking through his uh, familiar. Right gotcha. Now. Which will take us to Esquire. Top of the round. Okay. Um, Esquire is going to uh, let everyone know that uh, my hand uh, can't lift the stone anymore. Try harder. Um. 
I push Elias into the pool. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to disengage. Okay. Uh, running this way. Uh, I'm going to chill right here. Um... My hand just has nothing it can do with the gemstone. Right. Every what else could my What else could my hand grab? You can't see what's in there at the moment as you're away from the fountain. I'll get closer. Uh, looking into it, there's coins down there. There's other jewelry. It's a little murky. I'll grab. Honest, I'll grab. They, the, I don't know. What's down whatever, there? Seems a handful. Pristine. Yeah, whatever handful I can. As you I'll try to grab it. With, with your happens. hand, it can't. What do you mean you, it can't? It just goes through it, goes it or through it just it. can't? Oh. The hand goes through it. Mm -hmm. I'll give, give me, give me an that. arcana check. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, let's do it. This would be let's something that might thing. pique your interest. Um, okay. Man, this... Roll a d20. We know you get plus, like... Eight. Eight to it. <laughs> oh, uh, you don't know what's going on here. It, it's, it boggles the mind. It's going to take me more of an action, I think, to yeah. study it. Um, or... That'll take right, us yeah. to Bestet. Uh, I can't grab anything, is what I'll say. Uh, Bestet's gonna heal itself. As Bestet just kind of licks its wounds, you see them, this greenish sort of light, similar to the portals you've seen in here, uh, cover their body as they heal most of the wounds that you guys have done. Ugh. Taking us back to Big John. Oh, actually, kind of turn. Yeah. You guys are all immune in here. Uh, Big John, what are you doing? Big John, you muted, man. Big John, yeah, unmute yourself. Sorry about it. Sorry about that. You're good, man. Uh, yeah, he will uh, use his maul to uh, try and crush Kitty again. <laughs> try and smash Kitty. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kitty. As most of the wounds that you guys did to her and them are healed. A 15 does hit. It's just a cat. I'm going to say it about five more times. You'll believe me eventually. And then. Four. All right, let's see if Bestet is toppled. Do we topple Bestet? We're going to find out. Uh, Bestet cannot be toppled. The reflexes oh, no. of a cat keep them stable. You do do, uh, you do do. Ten damage. Huh. Ten. Ten damage. And, uh, yeah, that'll be the end of my turn. That takes us to Vivian. Vivian uh, will try to attack and did it click? It might not have. Did not. As you got real quiet. I got a nat 20. Getting a nat 20, that's gonna hit. And then I missed again. A nat... Looks like a nat, a one, nat and one and a nat 3. Yeah. So I fumble. As you try and swing your swords, the glimmering light off of uh, Bestet's necklace 
kind of temporarily <laughs> blinds you. Yeah, plus plus one isn't gonna help when with a nat one and a nat three. Yeah, I didn't think so. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, that's all she can do. She just pushed. All right. Oh, I don't know what's happening tonight. <laughs> that will take us to Eagle. If Eagle is around. Uh, one second. I'm getting into my room. Nice. And then he'll so... be a real boy. How many people are around me? Uh, like within 10 feet. Within 10 feet, both Big John and Vivian. All right. Uh, who's hurt more, Big John or Vivian? About the same. I will give Big John the 2d6 All temporary right. hit points. Ooh. Say Big John, roll that 2d6 then. And Big John, then can I, move, can I move? i still be next to the cat, with, but away from everybody. Like with away from like ten no. feet away from everybody. No. It's, All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. Quarters. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. I'm gonna do uh, bonus action inner radiance. Okay. What's this look so, like? I'm going to read it word for word because it's really still really cool. Searing light temporarily radiates from your eyes and mouth for a duration. You shed bright light in 10 foot radius, dim light for additional 10 feet. And at the end of your turns, each creature within 10 feet of you takes radiant damage equal to your proficiency bonus. So only two damage, but two radiant damage. Is that at the end of your at turn? The of, at the end of my turn. All right. So he just like does this like guttural howl, like scream. And uh, light pours from his, it's bluish light, pours from his mouth, like, onto Beset. And it's like, I am going to eat you, and then, you know, attack recklessly. All right. And yeah, uh, thanks, Patch, for pointing that out. Plus one temporary hit point for Big John from the one buff from Egil. Uh, yeah. Uh, so right. we take two uh, damage each? You will. At the end of my turn. A radiant. I'm trying to connect to the internet, so if somebody wants to roll for me again to get that uh, uh, we'll go with reckless dunk attack. Dunk roll the d20. Roll 2d20, please. 2d20. Roll it again. 8 plus 5 plus 1. 14 just hits. All right. 1d12 plus 6. Six. Uh, dunk roll that 1d12. Seven plus six for a total of 13 points of damage. Slicing into Bastet, you see blood start spilling into the fountain as it starts to ripple. And that's his turn. He's done everything he can do. So he, everybody takes two points of radiant damage all right including Bastet. But it's not, yeah, yeah, and it's, it's not it's not it's not even a, it's not even a roll no nope. it's just, it's just, just happens it's just your proficiency every turn we'll simply modify my token because if it'll let you if, if it'll let me uh but that will take us to duncan it, it does not because if you can't modify your sheet you can't modify the token gotcha Makes okay, Duncan, Duncan, haven't seen what's going on, is going to recall. Duncan, you're so quiet, man. No, I'm not. Come on. Yeah, you are. I got you. Up, on, I got you up to 200%, man. Come on, man. Okay. Um, I've, I've got, I got two Southern there. Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong I'm, with that. <laughs> I am going to recall um, uh, Biscuit. No, not Biscuit. Um, uh, Skillet. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, recall is and bring them back to yeah. you, not not recall to the. Correct. The abyss that they're from. Yes, very good. Um, I'm then going to cast Goodberry. You got spells. I got one spell. Just one. Making some berries for the hunger man. 
Oh, and then I'm going to shove those good berries. In Skillet's mouth. Gotcha. In Skillet's mouth. And on my next turn, I'll send Skillet back. All right. Dropping little. That'll take us to Elias. Little care package is coming your way next turn. Elias, what you doing? Different use of owl pellets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elias shooting a twinkle star, and eight's going to be a miss. As you might also be muted. In your own way. That's all Elias is doing, just trying to shoot some twinkle stars. Yotra looking around the corner. Hidden at the moment. So it's Piotr's turn now? Piotr. Yes, it is your turn. Piotr. So he's going to pop out. And what's the distance? Now, Piotr does know this whole area. Is trapped. Yeah. So that range would be disadvantage. Okay, so it would just be a straight roll. But, yeah. Let me pop open his character sheet. Maybe. It's working. It's not working. All right. Well, he gets he gets plus a... five to attack. 18 going to hit Bastet. All right. 1d4 and 2d6. For total of plus three. So for, yeah, 15 points of damage. Uh, knocking. And then he would pop back, pop back behind the corner and hide. You guys around Bastet would see Bastet just get hit in the head as blood starts to pour out of their, of their skull, uh, oh. and falls limp on oh. the ground. Oh. Well, if we're out of a combat, uh... We can hop out of combat. All right, yeah. Oh, uh, I feel bad. It, Eagle's absolutely gonna, you know, chop off its head and start, you know, draining it of his blood. Oh, my dear. Oh, goodness. It is, a, it, it is quite a plump animal. This one is not your friend, correct? Not anymore. I feel... <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. Uh, don't. It was an evil being. Clearly, it lied to you about what it could do, or it obscured the truth so that it couldn't, uh, you know, you would do what it wants. Uh, that's but a good now, point. Yes. It was kind of an asshole. It's so, all cats uh, are assholes. It's a cat. It's not <laughs> true. I, that sounds I, 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 like I, you're a dog person. Sounds like cats are assholes. I had one good cat. I've had right? like four or five cats in my life, and one of them was good. This is how it, was, I it acted like a dog. <laughs> this is how I knew that the cat was evil. Is that it was a cat? Our, our DM, our DM does not. I didn't say evil. I said asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Big John, you got any rope? Uh, one second. Uh, it's my random southern accent. One second. <laughs> uh, as an uh, owl flies in with good berries in their mouth. A skeletal owl. Skullet. Inventory. He's he's gonna hold on to him. Okay. Um, but I do, I do have... not. But I have a pole of collapsing. I have a rope. Uh, I think I hear you sit talking about rope. Yeah, yeah. T toss it over here. Stay, right. stay over there. How does only one of you guys have rope? Well, we left that grappling hook in that dungeon. Yeah, that was magic I'll... rope too. I'll throw that rope. Oh, give me a, give me an athletics check to throw the rope. Can't you just use skelet to bring the rope over? That's probably smarter. Uh, You've got two hit points. Don't do dangerous things. I already said it though, didn't I? You did. Ooh. All right. Uh, yeah, you throw the rope over. No problem. Catch it. Hey, Big John, can you pull me back up? I'm gonna grab that coin. Absolutely. I'll tie the rope around my waist. I'll jump in the pool. Alright, jumping into the pool, going swimming, as the rope's just kind of dangling along the side, hoping Big John comes to go get it. 
I gave it to Big John. Yeah, Big John will be up right here. All right. Well, oh, swim down. As you swimming, as you jump into the pool, I'm gonna plug my nose. It is. In my hand. It is just this most surreal experience. Like as if you're floating, your skin becomes something of translucent nature. You guys don't see this, but it is what happens to you, Elias, as everything just becomes slightly ethereal, wisping around. It's, it's almost like um, when Frodo puts on the ring. Mm. Uh, all of these, it's just this incessant bubbling and sounds like wind. And there is this pile of treasure all about shimmering but as it shimmers it's almost like blinding to discern what is around i need you to make a constitution saving throw i got this no problem Eleven. Elias takes 16 points of acid damage. Ooh, that puts me out. As Elias falls limp. Big John seeing that would immediately pull Elias out of the water. Give me an athletics check. As Elias seems extra heavy. Can I help him? Abs kind of like... It was kind of like as soon as I went in the water, I, I didn't get anywhere. As soon as you like started to swim down, uh, I'll say yeah, you can you can help him, Eagle. Uh, if you want to either roll your own athletics check or give Big John advantage. He he rolled a. Seven. I think advantage. Well, I saw. I was gonna rolled. say uh, advantage. I didn't see what he rolled, so I was gonna say advantage. Yeah, uh, Big John, roll one more time to see if you do any better. I seen that 17. 17 no. will have to do. 17 will do. Elias is, is heavier than that gem was. As you try and pull him up, it, it takes everything. Elias, you fail one death save. I'm, I'm going to cast Spare the Dying. I'm going to swoop in, give him a good berry. I mean, Drop it in his water. mouth. I mean, I still have my rage going, so I can give him my 2d6 temp HP. P, but that doesn't bring him back from what doesn't life. bring him back to life but dropping in a good berry elias you have one hit point Being can, can i up. then use my temp hp to help him sure yeah he'll get 2d6 if you would roll that for yourself elias yeah you yeah, roll it yourself elias uh 2d6 not 2d8 not two yes Skill, 10, it's gonna 10 hit points. playfully peck Elias. Hex and Io. Uh, but yeah, Elias. It was just this like engulfing presence all over your body when you were in there. It's like another place entirely. But just this one cylindrical chamber. Oh, that water, that water's crazy. <clears throat> oh, th thank you, Big John. Well, it seems that, uh, well, actually, uh, I can't remember how long my temp HP lasts for. I think it lasts less time than, you know, normal temp HP. Uh, I'll look it up while, while we're talking. But, uh, well, it seems like we're fucked. The, the cat that we did that y'all did a a gym heist for uh is dead and we can't get the gym back out to give it to the non-dead statue cat so yeah uh, i guess i'm just gonna eat this cat did, did i feel like uh, did, did i feel like the effect was just because i i wasn't strong enough to overcome it and i and i would have been okay or was it gonna hit me no matter what it's just how hard it hit i would say it's hard to tell how the dice are gonna work for you 
whether or not it's a save or suck. I mean, you tell me. What what would you think? You're this all encompassing force around you. I don't know. I think it could go either way. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know if we can get it. That is unacceptable. Shit. That was the lead we uh, had. Nah, all we can do now is go and fucking explore other portals and wander aimlessly. Yeah, it looks like we fucked this thing up pretty good. But, you know, I'm sure we'll find our way out. Oh, well, he was going to tell us how to get out of here so that we could get somewhere to heal your sick friends. Yeah, that yeah. Was another lie. Good. Yeah, yeah, very well could have been a good another lie. He did say that he would help, but then he was like, oh, but I can't help in that way. I'm not sad that he's gone. Step just didn't uh, lie once. He obscured the truth. I mean, it's lie by, by omission. And. If, yeah. if somebody, if we, if we think that we need this gem. I, I think Big John, I think you're the best bet uh, swimming down there, but I don't know. He How goes, deep can, is it? You think we can pull it out? I, it goes down. Like it, 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 it seems like it's close, but far. But then, uh, that's how I went out. I don't Who's know. Who's going to be able to pull me out of there? I, I'll, I'll, pull, I'll pull as hard as I can to get you out. Uh, Eagle, you want to uh, uh, help uh. too? Yeah, I can, I can pull a rope. I'm not getting in that water, though. I just don't, I don't know what to do. You can understand my hesitance. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not asking you to do it, I just... Now, oh, fuck, we can't even get out of here without... I can't get out of here without it getting... We ever find out what that was? So you said you had a uh, a pole that you could, Big John. Yes, I have a collapsible pole, and it does some pretty neat stuff. Can we use it to? Yeah, good. See if you can knock the uh, the gym around. At least know that it's movable in the water. If that pole can reach it, I'll bring out the collapsible pole. Okay. And I will uncollapse it. Sorry. I think it's seven feet, right? Uh, I thought it was ten feet. Ten feet. Uh, what is the magic word? Uh, eagle. Well, ten, but because that was Doze's bowl. What's the magic word? It says a magic word and then extends. I don't think I ever used it. You never used it. Yeah, so I don't even know what the magic word is. You, you tell me. <laughs> I'm saying come up with it right now. Oh, um, go go gadget. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's more like a go go gadget. Yep, go go gadget. Go go gadget. As it just extends. <laughs> it's a great thing uh, for for testing traps. Yeah. Um, Big John would kind of lay on his stomach. And look over the pool and then lower the pole down to see if you can get to the bottom. Jump give, on. Give me an Big athletics John's check. Legs. I'm jumping on Big John's legs, holding him down. All right. All 45 pounds of me. With the 12. As you put the pole in, it gets so heavy you lose your grasp of it. And falls out of your hands. No! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. Uh, I didn't see that coming. I should have. And now, well, now you see the pole at the I'm bottom. The... We need that. We definitely need that. Well, Jim. um. Well, here's the thing. If that pole, I if I can't hold on to that pole, 
There is no way in hell anybody, all of you included, are pulling me out of there. So, uh, uh, Dwarf, uh, what was your name again? My name is Esquire. Mr. Esquire. Uh, Eagle. Um, I've seen, you know, various forms of magic. Can you destroy water or move it around? Mm. I don't believe so. Not today. Um, we have a quick look at my spells, because I did end up not... Did you know someone who can create or destroy water? Because I don't have... Um, I mean, general. if you can hear the conversation, you can, you know, chime I, in and I, say, hey, I can... I have zero spells, and... So, yeah, I have yeah. no spell. I can't. Cr uh, I can't do uh, control water, but there is a, sp a cantrip. I can't. I can't even open up my spells, man. Elementalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I think that's the one I took. You do not have elementalism. Which one do I have then? Mage hand, fireball, prestidation, true strike, mending, acid splash. Damn. Mending. Mending. Oh, the it's one right I took. in front of you. I was impressed that I remembered it all. No, I just opened yeah. it up. Yeah, I can't. I can't even click anything on my sheet. Um, reload the. Have you reloaded the game since it started? I've done it. Okay. I've done it. Yeah, I've. Because yeah. it's weird. I'll open another ticket. Uh, I was talking to someone earlier, and they said they were working on it. I'm able to open every single character sheet fine right now. But... My sheets work really well, which is weird. But that's, that, <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that the way it goes? Yeah. Yes. Mine's open. Um, I just can't use it. That's fair. Yes. Uh, I'm not able to do this today. Um, All right. If we don't get it done now, your friends might die. Yeah. I like oh, that. See, I, I think what's oh, yes. down there isn't like here. I think it might be somewhere else. Some. I mean, Esquire. If you just if you were like half submerge yourself. You might be able to grab it with the mage hand. No, my mage hand goes through it. But no, that's because you were on the that's outside. That's because you're on the outside. But if you're on the inside, you might be able to grab it. And yes. We keep, we, we keep half of you. Uh, I will say that if I go unconscious, I will not be able to. Be brought back. Are there any levers in this room that have not been pulled? No, there's just the one lever here, which is in the down position. Yeah. Was the cat on like a pedestal itself or anything? Do we? Uh, I'm not exactly, you know, savvy and looking for traps or anything like that. But uh, perhaps we should look around the pool and see if there's um, a way to drain it. Can I? Can I loot the cat? <laughs> Uh, the cat has a beautiful necklace on it. No, the ne necklace fell off because I was draining the blood out of it. Okay, sure, yeah. I cut off its head. Yep. Is there anything else on the cat? No, that's that's, that's, that's the only possession that they wore. Really? Okay. I would there like is to... a, a golden chalice and a water skin next to the... Pool. I'll take the golden chalice and start trying to uh, empty out the water from the pool. <laughs> Okay. Like, seriously, I'm going to start trying to bail out water. Uh, it dissipates as soon as it hits the ground and doesn't seem to have much effect. Okay. Worth a shot. It is worth a shot. I gotcha. Uh, here's the question. Why did Bastet want the gem in there? I'm going to start identifying the potion, Stephen. Okay. Pro probably because he didn't want this to, to have the eye back. Hmm. Didn't he say they were friends? I guess that was a lie. I did say that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to try to talk to the statue. I was just um... thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we both walk up to the statue. Okay. Um, uh, hello, uh, statue. I start uh, petting it and petting the statue. Yeah, I'm also petting it. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. I uh, saw so that you were uh, crying. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That we didn't. We wanted to put it in the eye, but that other cat was quite a nuisance. Uh, not anymore. I hope he wasn't your friend, for real. Uh, I'm, I'm doubly sorry, in that case. Hey, uh, Duncan, that's a fancy hat you got going on. Um, what, does it do anything special? What? That hat that you've got, does it do anything special? Yes, it, it, it reads minds. Perhaps if one of us over here wore it, they could speak to the statue cat. You'd need to attune to it. It takes about an hour. <laughs> well, we've we got nowhere else to be. Are, are you Southern too? Anyway, I'll, oh, um, uh, I, I'll, I'll take off the helmet and toss it over. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you still through it. the portal <laughs> or through the portal. All right. I'll throw it through the portal. Fine. Walking around, throw it through the portal. That's a good idea, right? Yeah. Uh, I'd say you can easily do that. Okay, that's what. Uh, I'm at that point, uh, <laughs> as the helmet plops onto the ground over here, Esquire, uh, they're they're vials of holy water. No, <gasps> I, I need some. <laughs> Wait. What? Why? That's that's not gonna cure anyone. Oh, I, I need it for a reason for my spells. Oh. <laughs> does um, that is that actually expended nice. when I it use is. that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, they are vials of holy water. I could really use a couple of those. Uh. Would these be enough to finish the robes, Stephen? Yeah, one of them would be. Or, one of them? Just needs to soak in it overnight. Yeah, just... Yes, we can, uh... Use one for the robes, and use one for your regents. Although you, lo you lost your... Your sower. Yes. I, I have to say, um... Esquire, I have to give it to you. You know, you're... You're dying, literally, of a curse, and... I mean, the only thing you can think of is, is robes. I'm... You, you're truly dedicated. It's impressive, actually. Dedicated to... Just the ev like knowledge. The stuff. It's not stuff. It's, it's things that might help us get out of here. The stuff and, and things? You're, you are the ones who trusted a cat who... Charmed all of us. I don't understand all your reasoning. Actually, only, only charmed you. Yeah, it only charmed you. I, if it charmed me, I'm, I'm sure it attempted to charm all of you. And it failed on all of us. Yes. Luck of the draw. Sure. But, but you trusted the being that you saw well, me charmed, and then you did nothing to stop me from being charmed. Yes, I, I understand. Oh. You were petting it. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. But... And then they tried to kill me. Yes. Okay, not that big of a deal. Uh, hey, uh, oh. Viv, you want, you want to, do you want to try and talk to the statue? Uh, no, okay. I'll, 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 hold out the ugly hat. Uh, I suppose. I'll to reluctantly uh, grab the hat and start trying to attune to it. Okay. Short rest. And I'll take yeah short rest <laughs> as you're uh, getting ready to try to skin this cat. Well, but not I haven't skinned it yet. I'm just like draining the blood, so you know that's All gonna right. take a while and to kind of preserve it. It's gonna be cat jerky, maybe. We'll see. Fair enough. You have a, head, a headless cat. <laughs> Was it actually a cat? Yes. <clears throat> I, I, I've <laughs> felt that's all, like I, I don't cat with it's magic. A cat. It's a cat with magic and can talk. <laughs> but it's a cat. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, Eagle, you might want to be careful less. with that. That cat might not be. You know, I still don't believe it's a cat. That's fair. <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah, Eagle, you can get a short rest on it. I think everyone's hit dice are expended. Yeah. Other than Esquires. And Esquire won't get any hit points back. Yep. But I'll get my second win back. You won't because you don't expend hit dice. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. You have to expend hit, hit dice? dice to... If it reset your... So... Well, I'm just trying to find... I don't know where they are, hit dice on the you, new sheet. They're not on the new sheet. You have to so do I, a short rest in order to see them. So I can't I can't even use my feet feet then. I'll say sure, you can use your feet. Alright. I'll I'll give uh I'll give um Big John and Eagle inspiration. Alright. Alright. Eagle, do you enjoy this music? This is pretty good, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, 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 well played. All right. Big John's clapping along as always. Yeah. So, like, the only thing I can do is augury. Um, and that does nothing to help us. Sure. I mean, it might. Mm. It depends on what you it ask. Might. It might. Depends on what we ask it. We could ask it if. Trying to retrieve the gem is a good idea. Something like that. It's probably a good idea, but actually retrieving the, the gem is the issue. Yeah. Well. Viv, you look great in that hat. As it, it looks horrible on her. Uh, oh, I was gonna roll a perception or a insight plus three twelve. Yeah, he's lying. Shit, I can't lie today. <laughs> it looks bad on everyone, unless you're like, I don't know, a wizard. It might look cool on Big John or it looks good on Duncan. That's what everyone said. It well, regardless, makes you look better. It uh, makes you uh, look better for sure. Viv, you are attuned to the helm of telepathy. Okay, I found it. Uh, whenever my rage ends, is when the temporary hit points also go away. Yes, yes. I I typed that in a while back, but, oh. but you couldn't see it at that time. I don't think. Yeah. Um. I will, uh, walk back to the statue. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Big John, uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, my bad. And uh, I'm going to try to read its mind. No thoughts. Head empty. Mm. Uh, well, it didn't work. If you mute yourself whenever you do that, Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Uh, what else can the helmet do? Detect thoughts. It can read thoughts, and it can communicate telepathically. Uh, I will try to communicate telepathically with the statue. Don't have a link to it. Ah, damn it. Okay. It's a statue. It's, a, it's yeah. just a statue. It's a statue that cried. It did cry. Uh, okay, so that didn't work, uh, Elias. We are uh, shit out of luck, as uh, they say. I'm all out of ideas. I'm Dunk. all out of love. Hey, hey, Dunk. Uh, I think you might might as well might as well come over here. We, uh, have, but... we might have to rest here but uh, if something happens I, I don't want to be away from you and I can't come over to you there's the fire he, if he comes here he will die um, uh, I, I, I can avoid it uh, don't are you are, don't say that he, he can't make it through a long rest I well, if it's 24 hours, I, I, I 
I think I I mean it's gonna it's gonna cut into that time pretty significantly but what's the plan uh, if I go over there I still have to get out Um, uh, you can see that Elias kind of looks at the ground and uh, he st- he's starting to have some doubts on whether or not Duncan is going to get out. Uh, did anyone have rope? Yeah, I threw it over. Um, Big John is holding it right now, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, tie it around me, big buddy. Good. Tie it around Vivian and say, Are you sure about this? Um, nope. Uh, Wait. I am not. Before you do, um, can can skillet provide guidance with what i'm about to jump in the water yeah with what skill guidance you have to choose what skill athletics okay okay uh, i'm going to put the helmet down <laughs> okay <laughs> it's just in case okay uh uh, if in, uh, if um, Monsieur um, uh, Eagle wants to uh, uh, also hold on to the rope, sure thing, ma'am. I'm gonna jump in the water. All right. And try to swim as quickly as I can to that as to you that rock. Dive in, hopefully taking some of the rope with you. Uh. Well, it's around my waist. I gotcha. Yeah. Uh, it's it's this very surreal experience. It's everything around you becomes somewhat ethereal. The gems, everything is kind of not illuminated, but it, it's very clear and easy to see. There is this immense pressure all around you. Pile of treasure. There's that. You see the pole dropped right here that gem next to this pile of treasure and well with the pile of treasure kind of at the center of the space here as mentophobia is giving <laughs> vivian watchers inspiration so you have a d6 you can add to any role oh okay and as you're in there i do need a constitution saving throw thanks to mentophobia for the inspiration as you feel like all eyes are watching Vivian right now. Do I, st- uh, do I still have my one buff? You do not. That expired after a minute, which what? this has been an hour and a minute. So 16. Day 16. As you're in there, you take... I'm rolling great for this. You take seven points of acid damage. Okay. As uh, you're I, swimming down. I can't modify. I had 19, so I now have 12. 12. Roger Dodger. And I'm just going for it. Going for what? The the gem for All the right. eye. Going for the gem. I need you to give me an athletics check to pick it up. Uh, okay, so it's going to be... This is the one you get D4. a plus a D4 on. Okay, so... Oh, God damn it. Getting a nap um, one. Does it still fail even if I add D4, D6, and my three? It does. Oh. What is what is it, the D4, D6? That'd be... 14, it would be... Plus I have a, a three, a plus three to it. Yeah, really I'd say that there's no way one. there's no way to succeed with an at one okay. for you. That sucks. I will need you to give me another constitution saving throw. Uh, I'll do the plus six. Yes! Okay. You take four points of acid damage. Uh, so I have eight. I'm going to try for it again. Oh, yeah. Come on. 
Give me another athletics check. Still D4. Oh. oh. 19. Roll that D4. And this, I'm going to use it. Well, you you have to use, use it. it. Every, every athletics check you make for the next minute gets plus a D4. So 19 plus 3 plus 4. Absolutely. You grab that gem. Big and I John, tug I tug on the on the rope as yeah, well. Big, Big John just starts bailing as fast as he can. All right, Eagle... I'll, I'll rage and uh Okay. Start pulling. I'll allow both of you guys to give me athletics check. Uh Ego will have advantage because raging. Big John yeah. straight roll. And then with do you get to you have to declare the heroic inspiration beforehand? Yeah. They both have Heroic Inspiration as well. So Big John wanted to do it at advantage. And so I get 18. Okay. 18 and a 21. Yeah. Pulling up Viv. Emerging from this, like you're born anew, essentially. Gem in hand, weighing you down. It is your skin looks glowing, you know, like it, a, a, a it peel is. happened. <laughs> it is <laughs> yeah, absolutely the chemical peel. This this pressure leaves your 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 body as you're pulled onto the surface. <laughs> so somebody else put it in the the statue. I'm why why'd you do that? I don't I don't want anyone else to die. It's not it wasn't going I wasn't going to just wait around. Here, give it to me. And Big John will take it. And he will move around and place it the eye in the socket. So it will be one of two things to put there, because it is kind of precarious leaning over the water. Okay. An acrobatics or a sleight of hand check. I got you, Big John. Esquire, get out your hands. I got my. There's good I got my right here. I got. I got that heroic inspiration. Uh, let's see. Well, if if you're doing acrobatics, then I, I mean I can give you the help action. So you know, okay. use the heroic inspiration. I would say okay. for this because it's it. just it's just one person. It's it's hard to get the help on this. I see what okay. you're going for though. Alright. What we're gonna do then we will do the heroic inspiration. You can choose after. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hold an action. Actually, you know what? I I to... will give uh we'll let Elias kinda help with like the guiding, like 'cause you're familiar with this, you can talk him through it. Yeah. I'll, I'll say that. That's okay. fine. Uh so you'll have advantage and heroic inspiration, it's not advantage. It is a straight up reroll. So okay. Oh, okay. for any any single dice, I keep forgetting. Uh, so yes, roll this acrobatics or sleight of hand with advantage. Oh, acrobatics, sorry, Harold. So you got to choose between a nine and a three. So it'll either be a ten or a four. And then he can do. If you want, you can use your heroic inspiration. inspiration. Yeah, it'll re-roll re that nine. Oh, God, Big John, this, with the weight of this thing, trying to put it up into the eye, reaching over, you kind of lose your footing. You have a choice, Big John. Don't you dare drop it. I'm going to try and catch it if I can. Big John, you can either lose the gem or fall yourself. I'll fall myself. All right. Big John starts to fall. And as he kind of like, or reach, I, like, I, the, I have danger sense. Can I use that to try to catch him? Uh, It doesn't. Uh, I was trying to stretch it. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> um, 
it would be a deck save, right? I'll say you can give me a deck save at disadvantage. This is not uh, necessarily a moment 2D. of danger. It's a moment of danger for Big yeah. John. As Big John, you, you feel... I got a 9 plus 1, so I got a 10. Fair enough. As Big John, you feel the gem slipping. It's about to drop. You reach out and grab it and just kind of chuck it over the side as you go tumbling into the water yourself. So the gem is on land? The gem is on land. He, he sacrificed himself for the gem as Big John and needs a constitution Whoa. saving throw. Everything becomes heavy when it gets into the water, so just I hold oh one end of the rope and toss the other end. I rolled towards Big John. Well, the wrong dice. Big John takes 14 oh points of acid God. damage as he goes tumbling in. Big John, well... Is anyone doing anything up top? Yes. What are you doing? Can you? Elias, I want to. I, I want to, to hold. I, I caught the jam. Yeah. I want to hold one end of the rope and throw the other end at Big John because it's, you know, stuff becomes more weighted in the water. It's still so on me. To... Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's got one one end of it. So that's good. I'll just leave that. Okay. <laughs> and just just toss the other she, end she, in. She, yeah. Yes. Yeah, she, she's the anchor. And I'll then I'll start trying to pull him up when I see if he if he grabs it. Big John, what are you doing? You're in this. It's it's another dimension. Like it's so weird. Like there's just light at the top. You can't see what's going on up there, but you know that's the exit. Treasure and the pole. All around you on on the floor. Olympic pole vaulting. Uh. How about? Can I cast jump on myself to try to jump out? It'll still be an athletics check, but I will need. Okay. Uh, I'll say with the combination, I'll give you advantage on the athletics check. Okay. As you grab hold of the rope and use that to jump up. with a 25 splashing out of the water Big John makes it to land oh, okay Oof. this is quite precarious Oof. are there any berries left from that bird yeah I'm uh, I'm going to take one all right um I'll I'll drop one into the Please. um save the... one save one for me <laughs> yeah, I got nine. I got nine left. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna have skillet baby birded into into Vivian's mouth. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is just like the time that I and she goes on about a story about a owl bear and she was baby bird feeding a baby owl bear. <laughs> it only that. it only has one hit point. You didn't tell me you had berries. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I just. I just made them. They're, these are my twinkle berries. I'll I'll, I'll give one to uh, Eagle. Immediately yeah. gonna eat a boom. Right, for the sake of open communication, um, I'm working on that. I I'm a, I'm gonna try and put this jam up in this eye hole. Right, that's what I, I'm about to do. I I would like to help him, but I don't have. Hey. Before you climb up there, tie this rope around yourself. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good, uh, good idea. Yep. And just keep and... tension tension on the rope. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna just kind of lash it around the statue here, so you can oh. kind of use it like a scaffolding. Let oh. Let me just. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna unrope myself. <laughs> I don't want to be the anchor that, anymore. No, I don't like... want to be the anchor. I don't want to get pulled in. <laughs> Like, like on the farm, when you're having to like fell some trees and stuff, you gotta get up there, maybe take the top off. You just kind of sit into this, like around your waist, like just kind of bend down, and you're good to go. Like put the weight on the rope, so you're stable. Uh, listen, listen, old man, I, I'm uh, I'm not a stranger when it comes to some some rope work. All right. Well, I don't want to know what you get into the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> so eagles tying the rope around in an intricate lace knot kind of thing yeah just you know so he's got sort of a it harness is, going on it is a sleight of hand check to tie rope 
Well, I guess my sleight of hand I'll, is I'll a give you plus advantage one. for the story. Uh, let's see. Well, my character sheet's not pulling up again, so a d20 is... Nat one, the rope <laughs> just falls off you. Let's see. You said I got advantage though, mm -hmm. so a nat two. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> oh, man, uh, what the hell? As uh, yeah, you're trying to tie the rope. Uh, you know what? Heroic inspiration. Okay, reroll that. I got that. it. Got to got to got to use it. Reroll that one. <laughs> that way, at least you don't. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry wow. for being so loud. That was uh, fantastic. Yeah, as your... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> one, two, three. So, oh. as you're tying this rope... This is just for funsies. I want to get a four. Oh, there we go. You just wasted it. You just wasted it. It's... Uh, no, it's fine. It's... Yeah, it, it looks secure. <laughs> Vivian's eyeing it like... Hmm. We have a knot than I usually use, but all right. Well, you know, we grew up in different scaffolding. areas. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, just like you know, just now. Now I'm gonna hold on to it real quick. Now lean back before you get over the water. Like just sit, sit in it, get a feel for it. Maybe we only use it as a, a just in case. Yeah, I mean, it's, my, oh. it's my safety net right here. All right. Yeah. Uh, while you steal it, any words of encouragement for me? Uh, I yeah, we'll, can speak. I'll give him another berry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure I need the berry right now. A the... skillet flies over and tries to feed you a berry. I, not, not right, not stay away from my face. I don't, my money maker. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need a berry right now. You can do it. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Oh, uh, I, 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 I don't. I honestly don't know what. Right, I'm uh, gonna try. I'm gonna try and put this thing. Guidance. <laughs> yeah, but, but what? What guidance for what? I don't even uh, remember. Acrobatics. Yeah, I'll, I'll, sleight of hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll do sleight of hand. I'll give him guidance on sleight of hand. Oh, oh all right. Not not very <laughs> sneaky. Hey, do you have guidance on sleight of hand? Do you want to make a sleight of hand or an acrobatics check? Oh, I have to... Ooh, it's a seventy-five percent chance that I roll better with the D four. So I'll go with the sleight of hand. All right, kind of lightly climbing up the scaffolding. Uh, it's it's there. You have it for emergency. <laughs> roll me, roll me the sleight of hand. Just in case. Not by head. 16. Plus a d4. Let me get the d4. Come on. With a 17. Kind of leaning into it, you start to like falter a so little bit. Heavy. As it is extremely heavy, Very heavy. The, you kind of grab hold of the rope, it starts to slip, and the shit, rope shit. just kind of falls into the water there. As you plunge in the diamond, it you hear this locking noise. I give the statue a hug around the neck. Yeah, and immediately just trying to grab hold of anything. The statue, as you hug it, starts crumbling. And dissipating. No, 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 no. The eyes start glowing this bluish white coloration, similar to the flitting light about the space. And as the statue crumbles, you're not holding on to a statue anymore, but a a small cat like creature glistening coloration along its fur of blue and white with these actually its eyes would flicker and change coloration whatever color it feels like at the time 
wings stretch out. And you would see uh, this thing. Ooh. Oh. As it speaks to you all. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I was... I was worried about that. How long was I out? Oh, Where's Bastet? Bastet wanted to keep you, you as a statue. Oh. Uh, I'm he was always more of a trickster. That. Yeah. He, he, he tricked us. And he, he wanted to keep you how, how you were. He tried not to let us put the put the gem back. I'm I'm sorry if I'm holding you too tight. I'm, I'm just my 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 heart's beating right now. I'm sorry. I, I, I feel I'm, it. It's okay. Everything's fine. Um, Maybe not, but I guess if. Hmm. Well, thank you. I'm sure it would be nice to so, go uh, to Bestet if I could. Well, uh, excuse me. Uh, no, yeah. I killed your cat. For, I killed your cat friend. It wasn't these guys. It was just me. So if that's going to be a problem, you know, I'll, I'll take that on. Oh. Bestet is dead. Yes. Um, he tried to attack everybody so i had to put him down and uh oh wow attacking that doesn't sound like bestet uh, well he said he he said he was bestet he might have been lying about that as well oh he definitely didn't look like you because you're looking really fancy no do you do you show the cat porch? yeah like i i have the cat body yeah oh god you no know, that very much looks like Bastet. Uh, well, you know, like I said, uh, I apologize. I he was your friend. Suppose if they attacked first, uh, there was nothing you could do to subdue a cat. Otherwise, <laughs> well, we, we he with his with, with his attacks, and then he did some magic. I assumed that he was more powerful and was actually able to kill us. Oh. I think Bastet might be able to catch a mouse. Not anymore. But gone. I mean, if you want to try to... if you, I don't know what kind of abilities you have, but if you wanted to try to bring him back, we do have his body. You take me for a being of great power. Well, you look so damn fancy. Yes, I am. Well, maybe that is your power, it's just to be fancy. Oh, no, I have some tricks up my sleeve, but, um... C could you, could you remove a, a mummy rot? No. I don't think do, I could. Do you, do you know, do you know how we can get that done? Here, soon? I'm uncertain, I haven't been here in some time. But you did free me from my my curse. Perhaps I could help free you from yours. Are you all affected? You all seem quite injured. Did Bastet do all of this? No, oh, no it, it's just it's not really. It's the water. The the water is. Oh. It, yes. Yes, that'll do that. Not quite water. No. Uh, well, the the eye of the statue fell in. Well, no, Bastet wanted us to put the the eye in the water because he didn't want you to have it. So uh, when we realized that was a trick, uh, we we all took turns going in the water trying to get it, and uh, there you have it. We uh... Bastet always wanted what was mine. I don't blame them though. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff down here besides y'all, like. Um... This big crystal minotaur statue thing did yes, a bunch of the, damage. The guardians yeah. of the place. Okay, yeah, they uh, 
They really wrecked my shit. They are quite... Um... Well, they do their job. Yeah. Is there a way to turn them off or, you know... Oh, Get no. them to let us pass? <laughs> Unfortunately how do not. You, how do you survive, then? I am not a threat to this place. Or the order of things, so I... Well, is there a way for us to not be threats? That doesn't involve us dying? Mortals being here is a threat, nonetheless. So, there is nothing you can do to prevent them from activating, unfortunately. They're already around, probably. I don't know how long you've been here, but the more time a threat is around in this labyrinth, the more activate and find said threat. Oh, um, so. Well, one of our friends has about uh, less than 24 hours. Oh. Um, and they will perish. Uh, and our other friend up there as well. And she points to the square. Um, I see. Afflicted by the mummies. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Can you get us out of here? Yes, of course. I... Yes. We just go to the right of the statues. The right of the... Uh... To the right of the eagle's head. It would take you to places you haven't been before. So we have to go deeper. Well, the the thing is, is we want to go to a place we've been before outside outside of here. Hmm. The only way out is through. So you've got this water that hurts a lot. Do you have any water that might help? I believe like they heal? kept they kept some holy water around here. Uh, there's. Several rooms of creation. Perhaps check those. I would be more than happy to accompany you on your way. As payment for releasing me. If, if you're with us, will the Guardians stop attacking? Oh, no. I cannot tell them what to do. They won't hurt me. So okay. I, I am sorry you, for that. You mentioned holy water. Is that cure mummy rot? Oh, n no. Does it heal wounds? Mummies would only activate if you took something. Kind of eyes all of you a little bit. Uh, I won't judge you, though. You will be judged uh, when your time comes. And if you are judged here when your time comes... It will not be fair. So remember that. Yes, but well, um, the is... individual who took something uh, learned their lesson. Oh, good. Stealing is never the right answer. But it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Kestet. Kestet? Kestet. Kerstet. Vivian. I'm, I'm not but my last. Eagle. It is cat sized. Uh, uh, Big John. My whole pleasure. I'm sure I'll meet your friends who are waiting down the hall. Yeah. Do you know? I guess you probably wouldn't know if we can get past that hallway without setting anything off. It shoots fire from the walls. Well, I, I would I, suggest I, avoiding the fire. Yeah, that's my thought. But as you guys have killed Bustet and freed Kesta, this will be a good space to end tonight 
the last as is hold, holding them, petting them. No cure in sight for what ails Duncan or Esquire. But a new companion for the time being? <laughs> May, maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but thanks for watching, folks. We will pick up here next Wednesday. And we will we'll see you next time, hopefully. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah. Thanks for the help. Yeah, uh, thanks for of all course. The thanks oh thanks for God. all the buffs. Yeah. Dive. Oh, thank you. Would not have been able to get that eyeball. Yeah. Good night, Twitch. Thanks again. Good night, Internet. Internet.